Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Castilian colonization campaign in EU4 Mutant Texas. So, mission system. Yay. I didn't even have to confirm that. Okay. I gained 10 le legitimacy. Didn't need it, but I got it. Claim strength. I don't know. I'd say my air is pretty strong claim wise. Portugal needs to be a hundred. Let's do that. I can take it on Aragon. I'm not going to though, but I could. Wave of Obscure Antism. Uh, five admin, sure. I'm gonna wait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait three years, and then I'll get ten favors on Fran with France. And then I'll call in France and Aragon, and then my power will be so much that I'll just completely overwhelm Portugal, and they won't even stand a chance, and then they will be mine. I have a royal marriage, so I'm going to lose a stability point. Who cares? It's just stability. Stability doesn't matter. Converting my vessel's lands... Ah, uh, this went back to Sunni. It went back to Sunni, and it doesn't even have any Catholic population? No Catholic population? No people stuck with Catholicism? Not even like a minority? Looks like it's stuck in their capital, so that's nice. I don't know why I moved these troops over there. So I'm going to drill them for a couple years since I have, you know, a couple years. I'm probably not going to build in Toledo. Since I'm going to leave it. And then there's, um... Sure, I'll take that. And I'll take that. Why not? And I'll take that. Then I'll take that. Then I'll take that. I'll take everything. Why not? Might as well just do it. I should make money now. With all those modifiers. If only there was a modifier for the court. Are you kidding me? 50 ducats and I'm still negative 0.5? Ugh, this is killing me. There's another 25. So much money. I 
probably throw a couple ducats into my education. I think I'm right on the threshold. I think it's 30%. Let's sponsor domestic students, that'd be nice. Keep clicking this. I just want the stuff that tells me... stuff. There we go. It is 30. Alright, so yeah, I should pump enough in here to maintain 30%. At least level 3, and then when I make more money from trade, then I can bump it up, you know, 4 or 5. There is a plague, that's fine. People come back. Let's just do the, uh quickest first. Does that not count for me? Does that count for my vassal? Is that coming out of his money? It is coming out of his money. Unless he has a missionary going. Doesn't look like it though. No. Well, that's interesting. I can put my missionary in his land, and he pays for it. Let's bump that fort down. Hath the death not quenched its thirst? Did the plague come in my land? Where's this plague? Do I have to add that to my map mode? I don't think so, I can't find it though. All right, Portugal likes me. Let's take that. So now I have... G they made me get to 100 for this. And now they're going to hit me with a stability point because we have good relations. Yeah, all right. So now I have to insult them. Call him back. So, I don't see the plague anywhere. It's a phantom plague. Those are the best kinds of plagues. I could go over there. Oh, the plague. Okay, so now the plague is coming. Nope, still not seeing it. I guess I could do plague measures. I don't really do plague measures because your population bounces back anyway, so I don't feel like it's worthwhile since plagues usually affect areas the same. So it's like, if I get hit with a nasty plague, Portugal and Aragon are going to get hit with a nasty plague, or a tier below nasty plague. So it's like, 
if my neighbors get it, then that's fine. Because if like the Ottomans get hit with a plague pass over, and it's like I'm not fighting the Ottomans, so and they're not gonna fight me, so it doesn't really matter. So that's why we don't do these plague measures. By the time I'm gonna fight the Ottomans, everything's recovered. But um, if they understand, which these guys do, I might as well do it. Sure. If it's free. I don't think I'm going to do that. And these plague doctors are so much money, I never actually do those. I don't. I think I've done those once. In other news, the the population is going to recover, so it doesn't really matter. How's my court doing? Are you going up? Hasn't changed yet. Bohemia declared war on Venice. What? Oh yeah, okay, because they own this province at the beginning of the game, so... They decided to attack them. Oh, here it is. Moderate Plague down in Gibraltar. Yeah, Moderate Plague is fine. If it was like Devastating Plague, okay, then you might want to look towards doing things. But I've already did one of the three, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Everything's fine. Boundary disputes? Met eight favors with France. Yeah, I think because France will help with Aquitaine. I don't want Aragon to move up north and fight Aquitaine. They'll probably do that anyway, but France will fight Aquitaine and hold off England, allowing me to occupy their entire country. And then I can get that personal union. Alright, yeah, so half of my country, it's just passed over, like, 90% of... Alright, I wouldn't say 90% of my country, but... A large part of my country was passed over, so that's why I didn't spend 500 gold training plague doctors. Let's see, I'm gonna build a cathedral in my future capital. Into warehouse. Actually, no. I'm going to build the warehouse over there. Saves me a little bit of money. You want to buy transport ships, in Morocco, so you can get over here? How much do they cost? Okay, so I'm basically selling them to him for cost.
I'm going to build three. And that way he can move his sh uh, troops over to the mainland when I go to war. I have way too many forts. I think once once Portugal is subdued, I'm gonna give her this fort, and then once the these provinces are converted, then I'll probably get rid of both of those. I'm gonna keep these forts though. Because forts help with urban gravity modifier. So they're good if for cities that you want to be your regional cities. And take the next admin tech and dip tech. Make that a territory or whatever, states. Nine favors with France. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was six. Maybe not. I think they increased this. I swear they increased that. Looks like the Ottomans are expanding. And I can't... Oh no, I can. I suppose I could guarantee... The Empire of the Romans' independence, if I wanted to limit Ottoman expansion. Do you have an extra slot? I think that takes up a slot. It does. I'll do it anyway. You know what? Keep the Ottomans from coming over. I might deny it if they do declare war. I'm hoping that they just don't declare war, period. From this fort, this fort, this fort, that fort up, and that fort up. Good thing with this fort is they can't go through here. Actually, I don't think they can go any. They can go up. No. Okay, so they're totally blocked by forts. Because if they go this way, they're blocked by that one. They go up here, they're blocked by that one. They go here, they're blocked by these two. They go through here, they're blocked by those two. Alright, that's perfect. I did lose a general. My current guy is 37. He's two military skills, so I don't think he'd be very good as a general. Okay, two zero zero zero. That guy sucks. Twenty five tradition. It's double what I have. Mm, okay. I'll do it. 
Oh, nice, a 2 4 1. Let's kick this guy out. So I think Portugal has 6,000 troops. 6,000 troops, tech 7, which is a tech level ahead of me. I'm actually going to focus military power. Alright, I'm almost at zero with the court. So I don't think... What I'm getting at is I'm not going to split my forces to get these forts. I'd like to, but... I think it's better to focus on this one. Take that one, and then... Take, that, take their capital, take this entire area, and then take that later. Both of these provinces went back. The problem I'm having, the problem that I'm seeing here is that they're going back. Oh no, okay. There's a there's a tolerated Catholic minority. Okay, so all this is worthwhile because they are even though they're not sticking, they are getting minorities in these countries, in these provinces. So that is making it worthwhile because eventually, you know, the minority is going to become the majority. Plus, this fort is better because it gives access to this entire area versus this area. Plus our capital. Alright, France, you better not... It says January. I don't think it is January, though. Alright, another province converted. Let's do... That one. Is Aragon gonna have two troops now? Ah, oh, god dang it, Aragon. The good thing is that I have access to tribals. So they should give me a couple troops for free. Then once I get Portugal, I should go back to Fez and conquer this area for myself and this area for Morocco. Alright, I do have 10 favors. Restoration of Union CB, take their capital. England's gonna get called in, I'm gonna lose stability and have war exhaustion, that's fine. Let's 
take their fort really quickly. Should convert to 100% because there's nobody in there. And then let's go to the... Okay, so... Partial is one troop. Take partial from the greater nobles, probably give them a privilege, and then take offensive war support from the burghers. I'm going to swing up north and take this fort. That'll be in the next part. For now, I'm going to finish this part here and then pick it up there. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.